dark and mysterious, the Scorpios are a strange breed. Wrapped in darkness and salacious emotions. Family-oriented and leads in their pack among Capricorn and Leos, to name a few. Their actual activities will shock you. In today's episode, we will take you into life and signs of the history of Scorpios and relationships. How they lead the herd and how they deal with the trust. This story is all about the zodiac sign of Scorpio. Ruled by the planet of Pluto, the Scorpio is a fixed element sign and is not dynamic. With the tarot card of death and its perceptive duality makes the zodiac sign more static than any other symbols in the water element. In this episode, we'll explain the weaknesses and strength of the sign, its likes and dislikes, its compatibility with other water signs and incompatibilities. Emotional relationships will be in a separate video and will be touched on briefly for the sake of this show. And we'll be in a new series, Signs of Love Making, where we talk more about its compatibilities and emotional relationships, and yes, even love making with the fixed and somewhat static quality. Strong and courageous, these Scorpios are brave and can be natural leaders. They can be hard-nosed and don't like to be told what to do, hence they're natural leaders. Just let them follow. They can be flexible for anyone and their lifestyles with any other compatible and some incompatible signs. They are faithful, which we'll get to in a moment, but they are still nosy and investigative if you lie. The zodiac signs has their BS detectors to see if you're telling the truth. And they show intense feelings for you, hence their ruler is Pluto and a tarot card is death. Their weaknesses and their most important trait are that they can be jealous and they can't recover from that since they're faithful and bent on emotions. They don't trust others. If you befriend them long enough, they will have more jealous emotions that are connected to them with trust unless they're comfortable with you. They can be furious and aggressive towards you even for no apparent reason. And they're a private, but they can only spill secrets to you if you are faithful enough. Therefore, jealousness and emotions are put together. What's more obvious is that they like it when you tell them the truth and love it when you have real facts to back up your story. Among that, they want you to be more precise when it comes to your conversations that lead up for you to be truthful. And they want you to be correct when it comes to the relationship, and they're attached to the way that you make them feel. Segway into the point when it comes to trust. Being truthful and being real with them is being a friend, even a best friend or lover if you let them, making them the most important thing for the Scorpio and some zodiac signs. And last but not least, attached to death and darkness, they like making love with a passion. They love it even more than anything. It's their national pastime and one of their activities than anything else. Pent up aggression when it comes to the way we communicate is more important when it comes to the love that we share. What happens in the bedroom stays in the bed. The side eye is that they don't want you to change, meaning that shiftiness can harm you with a Scorpio. The shiftiness implies that they can dislike you very quickly and scrub you out of their lives very fast. So be truthful. If you're not participating in their reindeer games or extracurricular activities of salaciousness, then don't even think about getting back together as they lead naturally. You might as well just let them lead or get stung with their stinger. This weakness also means if your activities don't clash with each other or you're not participating, don't think about it. They are already gone. And Scorpios don't believe in opening up the inner world of their minds to others. They like their privacy very much. If you don't give them their personal space, then you'll probably never see them again. Like a ghost, they are gone. Quite to the contrary, they like to try new things, to make it better and stay together. They look up to the Scorpio for inspiration to make some new memories and try something new and exciting to their lives. They lead and they have courage and they protect others in need. They are also investigative when it comes to truth. 
and they often use their light detector skills to see if they're telling the truth, as they're the most controlling in the whole zodiac. They can be perfect for a job lead in position and skills, including as being a detective in law enforcement, private investigators, or in psychology fields. They can work by themselves, just them, themselves, and only them. They are also active in sensuality. They can be often clingy, which can be a turnoff in many zodiac signs, which they can be if you need them at the most. Most times, they need a little privacy than others. They also have vengeance towards others who are untruthful or lies to them, so be very careful not to do it. They have a simple strategy. One strike and you're out. It's over. You can't fix it after. They can also be jealous and can react negatively towards those who either do the following. Not being truthful, lying to them, or make things worse by not respecting their privacy. Male or female, they have grudges towards others and it can take longer for them to heal which means it can be irreprehensible and irreversible. The best compatibility for a relationship is Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn, and Cancer. Leo and Aquarius are less known and should not be considered any of your time. They are the most incompatible of the fire signs and air signs, respectively. We Pisces love the darkness, and we are truthful and appreciate your time. We love to be your companion, but we know that you are clingy, and our relationships are a must for us. We also love your emotions when you open up to us, and we appreciate you for who you are. We Pisces love it when you try something new in the bedroom, and it blows our minds what we want in a relationship, and love what we do it for. We are not that clingy unless we know you personally. We take the bedroom very seriously. Virgos are looking for love to last a lifetime, but their darkness of the Scorpio can hinder it if they're not careful. They must shock themselves for the sensual experience to go forward. The trust counts when it comes to relationship is sincere when it comes to the opposite side and is loyal. That goes for the communication, and they are rooted in relationship and their lives make the connection tight and even more when you are a Virgo. The small downside is when it comes to emotions. It might cloud each other if you're not communicating. They both hide their feelings and the darkness envelops them if the criticism and being skeptical of themselves which can bore them. Let's face it, Virgos like to be clean. They want to clean up the trash and that may harm them. Virgo loves cleanliness next to godliness while Scorpio complains about that. The Scorpion loves to be family oriented, but do you want your child to be involved in this kind of bickering when it comes to cleaning? Will that bickering come to an end? I don't think so. They must conclude when it comes to housekeeping. Scorpios are rooted in death and despair and understood that their shared activities are different. Virgos are clean and likes to keep their house or apartment clean, which will be a hurdle for their connections. Going to places will also be a hurdle. One might go to a club while another doesn't want to go. It's frustrating for both zodiac signs. They both must conclude or the relationship will suffer. Mars is Capricorn's ruler. They may not trust each other, and they can be cold and distant if you are a fixed quality. They often need outside help to reassure them that they are loved in a relationship, which is sad, but true. Capricorn can often be not convinced in the bedroom, and that needs to let go if the intercourse experience can continue. Among this, Capricorns can trust their mate, who deals with death and darkness on a lavish scale. Despite the lack of intimacy, they are honest. They have to be frank about their instabilities to let the healing begin, and they trust each other. The fixed quality can make the Zodiac more stubborn, hence the latter has also steadfast patience. They may not talk for years as the stubbornness continues. Both believe that karma comes back around. They take their lives very seriously. With friends around them, they can have long lasting relationships and full of life. They like dark humor, but patience is essential in the essence until they open up about their insecurities emotionally. This relationship would not be a run, but a sprint in a relationship of the former and the latter. And it's going to be a long sprint. Slow and steady wins the race. Speaking about slow and steady, if their emotions get to them, both are trying to act tough, but inside they're weak, but need to open up as Capricorns are stubborn as well as Scorpio. 
forcing things when they're not ready is going to make it worse as they need to know what love they get. It's a tough road for both sides. They both strive for the stars, and the activities will show that. And I understand that this is more fully as a person who likes this kind of stuff. Scorpio likes for them to tell the truth, but all in all, they're passionate about their activities. Cancer is all around when it comes to intimate relationships and salacious relationships, communication, trust, shared activities, and their emotions. Emotions are shared for the former and the latter if you have the trouble understanding each other if you are Scorpio. The only downside of this relationship is their values, to which Cancer can understand fully. Inner peace is what the sign wants. Emotion can tear them apart if Scorpio gets in the way because of the darkness of the fixed quality. In other words, they need to open up for the relationship can get through. In conclusion, that leads up to the relationship. When it comes to darkness, it can be pretty, but also it can be a hindrance to others in the zodiac sign universe. Relationships are more profound, and they take love and passion and desire in the bed very seriously. I have other questions which you can tell me about in the comments below. If you like this new series, and if I missed something from the topic all about Scorpio season, please let me know. Thanks for watching No Filter. I love you all very much. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you guys next time when we go to the next horoscope season from Sagittarius. Bye.